Mr. Cherry. Today, I will discuss to you about the uses of nouns. A noun has many uses. Study the following examples. Take note of how each underlying noun is used. Number one. Felicia prepared a gift for her grandmother. For the first example, the underlying noun is a subject. The subject is the one being talked about in a sentence or the doer of the action. Number two, the grandchild who prepared a gift was Felicia. For the second example, the underlying noun is predicate noun. The predicate noun refers to the same person or thing as the subject. Number three, mother gave Felicia a basket. For the third example, the underlying noun is the direct object. The direct object is the receiver of the action. Number four, Felicia gave a lovely gift. For the fourth example, the underlying noun is the indirect object. The indirect object tells to whom the action is done. Number five, Felicia's grandmother, Lola Indai, is 90 years old. For the fifth example, the underlying noun is the appositive. The appositive gives additional information about a subject or a direct object. Number six, Felicia, come here. Our guest has arrived. For the sixth example, the underlying noun is the direct address. The direct address is the noun being spoken to directly. Number seven. The surprise party was for Lola in Dai. For the seventh example, the underlying noun is the object of the position. The object of the position is a noun that follows a position. Number eight. I gave my Lola a gift, a birthday basket. For the last example, the underlying noun is the object complement. The object complement completes the meaning of a direct object. Now kids, you already know the uses of nouns. I hope you understand our lesson. That's all for today. See you next time.